Hey, what's up, my swaggers? It's Gamer Guy 7 is back with more LEGO Jurassic World for the Nintendo 3DS. All right, in the previous episode, we finished the Lost World Jurassic Park, and this guy's going to talk. Speak. You know you want to speak. I knew he was going to speak. So now let's go straight to Jurassic Park 3. All right. I want to see if I can get done with this movie fast, and then after that, we can finally get to Jurassic World. All right, be sure to smash that like button, guys. I noticed I haven't gotten that much activity in my uh, recent LEGO Jurassic World videos. Only in part one, because obviously that's what I'm doing the, the giveaway. So please, show your love and support my other videos, and that will make me post more videos and get this done so I can do the giveaway. All right, let's watch this cutscene. Resonating chamber of a Velociraptor. Oh. This is brilliant, Phil. Really, it is. Sad to say, I'm gonna have to back up in four weeks. Ah. Dr. Grant? Paul Kirby. Kirby Enterprises. Hmm. Amanda and I just love the outdoors. Heck, we've been on just about every adventure tour they can come up with. I've chartered an airplane to fly us over Isla Sorna, and we'd like you to be our guide. And of course, we'd love to make a contribution to your research here. Alan! Alan! Dr. Grant? Alan! I think they're looking for someone. What are they doing? They're setting up a perimeter to make the place safe. And on this island, there is no such thing as safe. We have to get back on that plane. Will you tell your wife to stop making that noise? That is a very, very bad idea. What about the other guy? Cooper's a professional. He can handle himself. I do. All right. So that was the opening cutscene for Jurassic Park 3. Now, this is the movie I remember the most. Because, like, you know, the first two movies I watched when I was a very little kid. I mean, I saw the first one when I was a little kid. And I only skipped the boring parts and watched the exciting parts with the dinosaurs. I didn't really appreciate Jurassic Park until later in life when I realized, wow, this is a genius film. And I, like I said, I don't remember much of The Lost World, but Jurassic Park 3, this movie came out when I was 11. I think I got it on VHS when I was 12. This was actually the last movie I ever bought on video. Can you believe that? Because this was 2001, like, uh, videos were already becoming obsolete. So, yeah, because, I mean, I got my, like... My dad purchased the DVD player back in 1999. First movie was A Bug's Life. So we, I barely bought like anything on VHS unless like that was the only thing around. But after 2001, they basically stopped making movies in VHS. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I remember this a lot. And I used to love this movie. But now that I look back on it, it kind of sucks, you know? It has no relevancy in the timeline. Yeah, and that's the Spinosaurus Egypticus, or called the Spinosaurus. You know, I, I don't know why some people thought this was a fake dinosaur. This was real. I mean, they, they even research paleontologists confirmed a couple years ago that it was indeed a real dinosaur. All right, well, let's run away. Spinosaurus is already chasing us. All right. Oh, man, this dinosaur... Yeah, and unlike the T-Rex, the Spinosaurus has longer arms and extendable fingers. Okay, let's run out of here. Oh crap, that's slow mo do. Okay, I forgot what these guys are. They're those guys that snatch eggs or whatever? Oh man, see that was a fossil, I just missed it. 
Oh well, who cares? You can only place Alan Grant here. I do like the chasing scenes here, and it's not that hard to go back and collect stuff. But yeah. Ooh, crap. Oh, cool. I got fossil piece A. Now you've seen two fossil pieces. I've only collected one, though. Alright. How are we running faster than the Spinosaurus? I don't get it. Well, Alright, that's it for that mission. So let's go to the next one. That'd be crazy if that was like the whole like chapter. <laughs> okay, now Spinosaurus versus T-Rex. This is the moment. The moment that divided the entire Jurassic Park fan base. <laughs> You let a 12-year-old go parasailing alone? No! He was with a friend. Ben Hildebrand. Nobody move a muscle. to be quiet yeah what about me now um now before when i said that this was the moment that divided the jurassic park fan base i actually did not know that this was a controversial fight scene it was very short though it was only like less than 60 Dr. seconds Grant. in the original movie but okay, let's pull off alan grant rescue him uh, but i didn't know until i discovered the internet until recently actually that i found out wow uh, this was actually a controversial scene uh, with the fan base because a lot of people wanted the T-Rex to win and the Spinosaurus won. Now, we don't know how this fight would have gone down in real life, you know, because we weren't alive when the dinosaurs were around. But they tried to make it the most logical battle and Spinosaurus has longer arms able to break snap necks. Whereas the T-Rex arms are kind of small. Now, uh, recent research has shown that T-Rexes can actually use their arms more than we thought. No one really knows because uh, you only know their fossils. I thought it was a cool scene though. Not all the time the T-Rex has to win. Oh, this fight's pretty hardcore for Legos. Oh crap. Okay. Wait, we're trying to help the Spinosaurus? Or the, oh wait, we're trying to help the T-Rex? The heck? T-Rex don't give a damn about us. Uh, oh, we gotta be this guy. Uh, Udesky, a.k.a. Mr. Noodle from Sesame Street. <laughs> Poor Mr. Noodle, though. He gets, like, kill his neck, gets snapped by one of the Velociraptors. This is also the first Jurassic movie to show feature feathers on the Velociraptors. Now, th uh, uh, they only had, like, feathers on their head. They weren't completely covered in feathers, which... You know, uh, scientists say the Velociraptors were actually short, shorter than six feet or whatever, and they were all covered in feathers. I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah. Let's get our gun, shoot up here. It's okay. Got a tranquilizer? I, think they hurt me. I hope they didn't hear you. Okay, can we turn this around? Let's turn that around. We better not miss. Over to you, Dr. Grant. What was Dr. Grant going to do? Oh, okay. So got that Velociraptor thing. He needs it to cut ropes. Oh, crap. I know the perfect title for this episode. T-Rex versus Spinosaurus. Man, the Spinosaurus is pony this T-Rex. Any ideas? I have an idea. Shut up and not die. Hey, what's this? I got my amber brick. Nice. Cool, I got a, a Gallimimus. Hmm. Alright. Let's push this here. I wonder if we can control any dinosaurs to hit that cracked wall there. Oh, well. Also, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I still have not seen Jurassic World. But, as I'm recording this, I will be seeing it tomorrow on Friday. Two weeks late, I know. 
Okay, gotta mash the A button. Mash, 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 mash. Okay. Quick time events in a Lego game. Wait, am I playing the T-Rex or the Spinosaurus? But the T-Rex still loses. Come on, let's move while they're both busy. Hmm, so they antagonize the Spinosaurus but make the T-Rex look innocent. Alright, okay, time to go to the next level. But yeah, Spinosaurus is the star of this movie. I remember, uh, the, the you know how the poster always shows like the skeleton of a T-Rex? This one showed a skeleton of a Spinosaurus, which looked cool because it's longer snout. But, you know, I learned that Spinosaurus are more water dwellers than anything we else, than land dwellers. You listening to me? Mm -hmm. We're gonna find him. I hated these characters in the movie, though. Kirby and right. what's-her-face? Amanda Kirby? They were so annoying. Like, man. I actually hope that Amanda Kirby died. I was upset that they both lived. Especially Amanda Kirby. Poor writing. You know? The movie should have made them the antagonist the instead of the protagonist. So. Wait, what? How did you desky come from the other side? I thought... Oh, whatever. Gotta jump here. Oh, we gotta hang on to this. Whoa. Huh. Phew. Hey, there's some luggage stuck up here. Someone will need to cut it down. Yeah, someone does need to cut it down. Now, what am I gonna do here? Okay, but how am I gonna. Wait, wait, wait. Let's break this. Let's break it. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let's be Alan Grant. All right. Let's cut this. Mash that A button. Hmm, I kind of remember this one because this was definitely the more recent ones I played. Uh, the recent levels. Okay, do I have to break things here? Oh no, we gotta be Udaisky. Let's see what else there is around here. Yeah, one thing I like what they're doing here, it's kind of cool, is they use the original uh, voice clips, the original dialogue for the cutscenes. But in in-game cutscenes, they use with these, voice Hanks? actors. But it's hard. It's kind of cool how they make them sound almost identical to their movie counterparts. But I can tell the difference, you know. Especially for like Amanda Kirby and such. All right. Now, only, only Billy Brennan can climb up these walls. Right, anything with those tiles, only he hey, can do it because he's athletic. Here. Can you fly one of those? Maybe, as long as the sail's not torn. Yeah. All right, so let's fly this uh, parachute down here. Double tap. Nice. I guess I can then. Guess I have to push this here. Can you use that? All right, but man, I'm exhausted today. Like it's it's uh just it just became the evening, but I did not get any sleep because I had to drop my mom early on Greyhound so she can go and visit my sister, you know. So yeah, that was just. Oh wait, wait, wait! I gotta use a gun here. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking Jurassic World. <laughs> so yeah, I need to get some sleep if I want to enjoy Jurassic World, and I got a lot of shit to record. A lot. Thanks, Mr. Kirby. All right, Billy. Now use your parachute again. Alright. Oh, that's my clock ringing. Now I hate how the camera just pans and shows me the obvious. It's like, I know. Dude, what the heck? Wait, wait, wait. Man, let's just... Lie down. Can you find something to make a bridge? Let me look. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, let's uh, do this. Okay, I'm trying to climb up that tail or whatever. Be careful out here. There, Alan, the AI actually is pretty competent in this game. They're not stupid that you always have to control them like 24 7. Okay. Wait, where am I supposed to be? Wait, you're blocking the way. Let's uh, be. Paul Kirby, yeah. Cute. Paul Kirby. 
I wasn't here. That was life vest. Looks like we gotta do some tracking. Too bad Udesky. I think this and the other level is the only... Yeah, Udesky is only two chat two levels out of three in uh, Jurassic Park 3. But oh well. There's a video camera. It's pretty beat up though. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I... Wait, I think I'm gonna have a cutscene. He's alive. I know he's alive. Eric! All right. Okay. So I think we're done with this level. Yep. Well, that wraps it up for today, guys. So you know what to do. Smash that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's see how many likes we can get over here. Please show your support. Please comment. And I keep on forgetting to say question of the day. I am sorry, guys. But question of the day. Who do you think is better and will win in an actual fight? Spinosaurus or the T-Rex? I want to see you guys answer that question in the comments below. All right, guys, take care, and until next time, swag out.